for me, going around the world is just uh, being free and have this uh, solution to make a dream. Everybody can do that. The biggest challenge for the first segment, the first leg, is going from uh, Brest to the doldrums. Having the transition between uh, Europe and uh, Canaries and, and actually the system which is in Africa. So it's uh, the transition between two systems which are really different. Starting from Europe and arriving to the equator in less than a week, it's quite amazing. <laughs> it's the only part I can, I can choose because it's uh, the, the timing that uh, the weather um, prediction and the mathematic models can see. Afterward, uh, I'm just gonna text what Mother Nature is gonna, gonna give me. The average speed around the world, it's uh, nearly 20 knots averaging. It can be uh, really cold and really tough condition just at the start in Brest. So uh, northeast breeze blowing uh, 25 to 30 knots. Actually, at the beginning, I can wear even the, the safety suit, the dry suit, which is the most um, extreme um, equipment I've got on board. And uh, after two days, I will, uh, I will wear just uh, a dry top. And just after that, yeah, I can be naked. So <laughs> even for your body, it's, it's quite a big challenge. You have to be very uh, conscious that it's a really long trip. Everything you're just opening from a bag is going to be wet. Sometimes just a, a pair of socks or a pair of gloves or, or just a leaf out, but a dry leaf out is just the only thing you dream about. <laughs>